we good are. Morning. Good morning. I think morning. we're on the air. Oh my goodness. You know, I usually say, Shan, that we got a house full today, but today <laughs> we have gone beyond the house full. They're, they're lining the halls. Some they're, are outside. They're, they're outside. everywhere. I, it's, it's awesome. This is going to be a great day. We got so much going on here. Just because we're at the end of summer does not mean there is not lots going on in DeKalb County. Well, you know, and it's a fall day. I think people start getting a little crazy when there's that chill in the air and you yeah. sweater weather and everybody wants to come out and do something. Well, speaking of everybody coming out, and we got a little movement going on here because let's see, Linda, if you'll stand up for a second, okay. we're gonna pull this chair. We're playing musical chairs. All right, Jen Sherwood is in the house, and we're gonna use her since she's not. She's here to talk about a special event. Yes, but since she has been here for years. Let the record show, I offered to give up my seat and go home. <laughs> I did, twice. Nobody will take me up She just wanted to it. sleep in this morning, I think, or Sunday. It would have right. been great, yeah. But Jen, <laughs> good morning. Good morning. Oh my word, she's got a cute new sassy haircut and everything. I know, sass is me. Oh well, okay. <laughs> well, you know, Shane, you always say, let's go over a little bit about who's here in case somebody says, hey, I wanna stay in here or right, I want to turn off here. the radio now because yeah. this show is not interesting. Good Guess thing. what? I'm, I'm, I've got your back, people. I'm well, doing this for you. Surely they're going to like one of these people. I think so. Well, Linda Burgess is here this morning. She's going to be talking about Old Timers Day in Alexandria. Does that not sound like fun? Oh, yes. Come and on. Kathy Hendrickson. Not only is she going to tell us all the library news, but the big 50th celebrations <laughs> coming up. I'm not talking about her birthday. I am talking about <laughs> no, the library. I wish. I, wish. I, I, wish. I never thought I'd say I wish I was 50, but oh, my word. <laughs> 50's like a baby now. I'm uh, oh, and Clark Oakley is here. And you know, this morning when I was practicing, I said Art Cloakley. So, oh, I'm so glad I said that right this so time. So good you got that out of the I way. I got it out of the way. Clark Oakley's here talking about a big 5K coming up, which I'm needing to be running. Kind of like Art Cloakley better. That's interesting. That's even nice cool. That is a cool name. Either way, it's We're cool We're going to call the bank and, and make a suggestion. In case y'all didn't, you missed it like two seconds ago, Jen Sherwood's in the house to talk about the federal mogul car, truck, and car show. No, car, truck, motorcycle That's a lot show. of cars. That's a lot. Car, <laughs> car, truck, truck, motorcycle show. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, she'll tell us the truth about that. Did you that. want to talk about that, or am I going to get to? Eventually, yeah. <laughs> we're, we're just doing the overview. And then, Stephen McCord's here. Oh, you're going to... He's not only a new chamber member, but he has got this great festival coming called the Caney Folk. Oh, I practiced that, too. Uh -huh. The Caney Folk Music and Arts Festival. Yeah. Oh, you're going to love that. Yep. And then Shannon Atkins is here. Oh, she is the prettiest thing. She's going to be talking about basketball boosters. Woo! That's all. You have a lot of tongue twisters this morning. I'm so proud And you of know you. this is the biggest tongue twister because I can't say his last name, but I've been practicing. Let me think. Kenny Gregg is here. <laughs> no, that's not right. They're shaking their head. G-R-A-G-G -G -G is here. And he's going to be Greg. talking about Greg. the Edgar e Greg. All right. You, you just Greg. Say, it's my turn to say Kenny. Well, no, because I'll say it oh, wrong. Okay. Well, anyway, he's going to be talking about, oh, the history. Hey, right, Jen, you I know. That. And all the stuff in the state park. Gail Gendry will be here to talk about things from the Craft Center. And Darcy and Jessica Cripps is here to talk about the Paisley Foundation Craft and Home Show. Woo! And I did it. Oh, my goodness. It's going to be awesome. A lot of fun things. Oh, my word. I'm already exhausted. <laughs> and, and Shan, I'm going to let you have done half of that, but you didn't know any of it. I did didn't you? know anything, as usual. We've been a little busy and didn't get a chance to meet. <laughs> but, oh, here's the big news. You know, Jen, I love good news. Absolutely. I love great news. We all news. love good news. We all love good news. But DeKalb County, we got the message from Governor Haslam oh, saying yeah. that DeKalb County had gotten um, a 5.4% growth in tourism from the Ooh. previous year. That was awesome. Yay. And then, you know me, I start looking at all the numbers. I'm sort of <laughs> like uh, Clark Oakley over here. I know my numbers. She's a know. little competitive. Uh, just a little. Well, we had the second highest percentage increase. Nashville was 5.5%. We were 5.4%. And everybody else was pretty much lower than that. <laughs> so I was... <laughs> To be in second, yes. <laughs> but, you know, that doesn't mean like on the dollar. But we did have, um, we're third in the Upper Cumberland region for tourism dollars uh, behind the much larger Cookville or Putnam County and, and Cumberland. And But our tourism dollars now, $44.99 million. Wow, so wow. when you see a visitor say, what do you say? Thank you. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> that was y'all's cute. Uh, when you see a visitor, you say, Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, 
Oh, that was good. Like yeah. we practiced it. <laughs> but um, anyway, and I want to mention our new member. Now he's going to be over here at this table in just a minute, in just a few minutes. Because but we have so much space. We have so much space. <laughs> Welcome, <morning>. friends. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> hey, Dwayne uh, at the radio station, you think you can knock a wall out? Because I think we're going to need more space. We're going to have to get over a there. A double table. Uh, yeah, yeah or something. Moment. But uh, our new member is uh, his company is called B Presents. We'll have to ask him about that. Stephen McCord and this festival concert promotion company will be hosting like I said the Caney Folk Music and Arts Festival <laughs> and we'll be talking about that in just a few minutes. Now Who's you want to let Jen say something now? Oh please. Jen you yes. see that DTC stuff down there? Yeah. You want to talk about that? Well, it's the it's annual meeting time oh, for DTC Communications, and of course that's going to be at the DeKalb County Fairgrounds in Alexandria uh, next Saturday, the 16th. You can cast your vote for your uh, board member representation on the board, and that casting of a vote, of course, it's one vote per customer so uh, a family of four doesn't get four votes just one just one vote but cast it from noon to three lots of free gifts i'm sure that there will be more than one free gift oh. per household though a uh, business meeting starts at three and of course if you've not ever been they roll out the red carpet it is a wonderful meal barbecue all the trimmings soft drinks from noon to three and for more information about what your membership rights are and how uh, your vote can be counted. Call DTC at 615-529-2955. Oh, and when you come, plan to stay because they do want you to know there's no carryout meals. Yeah. So, oh, yes. yeah. You can't. Oh, oh fooey. I was going to go one and for, one and for my me, meals for the one week. For, yeah. 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 You, <laughs> what are you going to do with that extra barbecue? <laughs> <laughs> That's your job, oh, isn't it? Yeah. Going to go play. Uh, <laughs> that message was for her. <laughs> it was specifically for Suzanne. We knew who it was for. Yeah, Suzanne yeah. keeps everywhere carry out boxes in her trunk. Yeah, everybody's just like, <laughs> everywhere I go, they go, oh, just a minute, we'll go get your carry out box. They, they know I love a free meal. So, uh, anyway, and she loves a free meal. <laughs> Well, Shan, I know you're a big prayer. So I I'm am. Gonna let I am. You How did you know? I know? Well, I know. You're always saying, Mom, let's pray about this. <laughs> so, uh, oh, not that I meant that was a bad thing. <laughs> but I'm just saying. I, 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 we'll we'll let little, that one slide. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> she's like, come on, Mom. Come God she said, here's what she Let says. She gets her finger and she says, now quit worrying about it. We're going to pray about this. Yes. So, said. the moral of this story yeah. Prayer on the Square is coming Tuesday, October 3rd at 6 p.m. And that's the west side of the DeKalb County Courthouse. Uh, bring your own chair. You'll get uh, great music and prayers for our community. And this was kicked off by Karen Carpenter, and she owns Sundance Restaurant in town. And uh, she's hosting this uh, wonderful event. And so uh, if you want to come out and pray for the community and uh, enjoy a good time, Prayer on the Square again Tuesday, October 3rd at 6 p.m. So mark your calendar. You know what I like about that event is it's Tuesday. So I like that it everybody, rhymes. Everybody, yeah, prayer on the square. <laughs> That's very clever too. But I like that it's Tuesday because there are very, very few churches that actually meet on Tuesday. So this is really meant to be a community event that, that there's not going to be any competition with do I come here or do I go to my own home church? Uh, everybody's welcome. Well, everybody Karen is so excited. So w just go out and support this great event. And uh, I'm, I'm very excited about this and hope it's an annual thing thing after this oh, yes. year. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I tell you, you know, I went to Alexandria one day, Kathy and I were down there, yeah. and I, I saw this cute store on the square called uh, Time and Again, right? That's right. And I met this special person. Linda Burgess is here. And not only did I meet her, I think I was in there like an hour, and, and I, we had to load, I mean, it took three people to load my car up. It was awesome. <laughs> but uh, we're, we're actually here to talk about something totally different. Uh, the old timer on the square event in Alexandria, we're so excited to, be, to hear about this, Linda. Well, tell us what's going to be happening and when it is. Well, it is September the 23rd, uh, Saturday. We began at 10 a.m. and we will go until the entertainment and the uh, gifts are all given away and uh. the entertainer uh, have completed. So you're gonna have drawings and stuff? We're gonna have drawings each hour. Oh. And depending on all the gifts that we get and uh, we'll have one or more. We're hoping to have three or four or five gifts to give away each hour. And um, we'll, we'll start out each hour with entertainment. 
then we'll have a short break, 10 minutes or so, and then we'll do our drawings, and then we'll have another entertainment. Uh, we're going to have a variety of booths. Um, we're trying to keep it where there is a good variety. We'll have uh, food vendors, and um, we'll also, like I said, we'll be giving away the, the gifts each hour, so that, that's going to take up the time spaces there. Um, as you know, Alexandria, it's been 14 years since we've had one of these, and um, so we're just hoping to get it started and get the town back going. It, it just needs to be revived up, and uh, that's so what, what we're doing. What time does it start? 10 a, 10 a, 10 a.m. a.m. Until and so the music ends, yeah. And Linda, will you accept uh, door prizes basically from anyone, any business? We will. Okay. We will. If you'll get with me after the show, St. Thomas will, will okay. support that for you. Thank you. And, Thank uh, you very much. I'll, I'll help spread the word. Okay. So it's going to be a day of music and giveaways food and, and food. And, and you got craft booths or anything? We have craft booths. We have, like I said, we have a variety. We're trying not to do all of one one uh, thing. Um, Deborah Cripps at uh, Clippers Corner, she's going to take care of all the booths. And then we have um, Mike at, with Mike's Flowers. Mm -hmm. well, he's, um, he's taking care of the entertainment. And, um, and while you're down there, you need to go in his neat shop. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. he's, he's so talented. Right. Yeah. Right, he is. And, uh, of course, hopefully the businesses all will be open on the square that day. I plan on being open. And um, so we're just going to have a good time. Oh, well, I am right. so excited, and I hope this becomes something that just you do year after I do year. I too. In the past, from what I understand, it was, and it was a very um, big thing, and they did it, and most people had a really good time. So yeah. that's what we're trying to get back to. And, um, well, it's home of the finest folks, so I can only imagine putting something yeah. on. It'll be just fine. It's going to be family so. friendly for all ages, and uh, and Alexandria is one of the most charming places ever. Yep. I love that square. Yep. Yeah, well, we appreciate that, and I know everybody that I did not grow up there, but I've been in it, um, visiting for for. 50 something years so, <laughs> so i you know i've seen Look, it. she she hesitated she didn't want to really admit uh, to it well, <laughs> no, no, bring up the number. Uh, no, when i was time. dating my husband that's where that, you know oh, he, he lives in that area from, is he from that area mm -hmm. okay good brush creek and so you know you had to go to alexandria because that was that's where you got your oh, ice cream yeah and that was where you went to the fair and that was where you you know got it was, just, hang it was just neat. Yeah. yeah it was just neat. Great. Uh, and we're hoping to return to that. Oh, we are so glad you're here. Just want to invite everybody out again Saturday, September the 23rd to the Alexander Public Square to the Old Timers on the Square event. And thank you. Thanks, thank Linda. Thank you, Linda. Well, Coco, Coco is here, Coco. Kathy Henriksen. Coco. And Kathy, I mean, you've got lots to share as usual, but you got a big thing to share, too. But anyway, you just start wherever you want okay. to. Okay. Well, we're going to start today with our art class uh, continues today. And it's our watercolor for adults. It's at 10 o'clock. So it's uh, over the county complex. Yeah. Helen, Helen Sessick is still hanging in there with us. Oh, my goodness. She is classes. awesome. We've had really good turnout for our classes. Yeah. And so we really appreciate her. Uh, September 13th at 10 o'clock is our Zentangle for adults. And at 12 for our children. Uh, September 20th is Mixed Media for adults. And September 27th is Mixed Media for the kids. Now, our big event. Uh, we are turning the J Justin Potter Library turned 50 years old this year. So we are celebrating on Sunday, September the 24th from 2 until 4 in the afternoon at the library. So everyone is invited to come and share their memories of the library. Mm -hmm. uh, enjoy cake and punch with us. Uh, the chamber will present a, a library um, a milestone award at 3 o'clock that oh, afternoon. Oh, we're so excited about that. And uh, I think uh, Representative Pody is going to do a proclamation. So mm -hmm. we're appreciative of that. And we just want to thank everyone. You know, we, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the people that came before us. You know, uh, everyone in the last 50 years that's contributed to the library to what it is today. That's board members and the study club that had a dream in 1938 mm -hmm. where they started the first uh, what you might call library, but it was more or less among the members sharing books and, and then the public swap, and yeah. then the, the public got involved and said, hey, we need books. So they started the first library in the 40s, I think. So that's continued on until uh, you know, other people had a dream. Miss Emma Burton, she was on the library board in 1966, and I think that at that time she was looking for money to match a federal grant, and she found it with the Justin and Valerie Potter Foundation. And so 
they gave $50,000 and the federal government $50,000. So the library was built in 1967 with $100,000. Wow. You can do that today. <laughs> I tell you. So we are appreciative of all those people, you know, the staff this the last 50 years, all of our volunteers, and we couldn't do it without the community support, you know. Uh, the media, WJLE especially, and the Smithville Review and DTC, uh, who help us get the word out about what's going on at the library. So there's a lot of people. It takes a community you know, to come in together to run a library. Uh, and so we're so appreciative of everyone that's, that's helped us. Uh, so anyway, everybody come out on September the 24th from two to four and share a little fun with us. Uh, we're gonna have a great day. Uh, well, I would think nothing less Kathy, of you saying thank you to all the folks who help support the library, but you and your staff are wonderful. Oh my goodness, and it's yes. for us to say thank you to you for the yes. job that you do. Well, I, I, my staff makes me look good. Without them, they, bless their little hearts, they're scanning. <laughs> I don't know how many pictures they have scanned, and I said, here's a few more. <laughs> yeah. So they've scanned probably four or 500 pictures and newspaper clippings, so we're gonna try to do some displays and a, a, a slideshow, maybe a pictures for the last 50 years, if we can find them. So we're working on that right now. So without them, and hopefully we won't be all crazy at the end of this. <laughs> They're trying to keep me sane, but you know, it's, it has no, Maybe you started there. Did There's you think a... about that, that maybe you started there? Started what? Insane. Oh, uh, <laughs> I, I think I was, a, I was on the border now. It's, I'm over the line. Yeah. We're working on it. And I do want to thank the community for uh, the support of our book sale and also for uh, attending Mickey Driver's book signing. We had a really good turnout for that, so we would appreciate everybody coming for that. And I want to say, too, that the Imagination Library uh, is celebrating uh, September the 23rd, 17th through the 23rd. They are celebrating uh, over 30 million books wow. Wow. mailed just in Tennessee since 2004. Wow. Yes. That's great. Uh, they, are in, uh, they are in all the United States. They are in Great Britain, Canada, and they have just started in Australia. Wow. So Dolly Parton started in 1995 in her little county of Sevierville. Uh, I think I read this morning. It's that, a cute little place. Yeah, <laughs> that her dad yeah. was more yeah. proud of her, the children calling her the book lady than he was of her being a big star because he uh. could not read and write. Uh. So he was very proud of her. And she started something that, you know, each child that gets a book in the mail, it's something to encourage them to read. So we want to tell everyone that they can sign up at the library for Imagination Library. It's birth until their fifth birthday. If they move, we encourage them to please come by the library and change their address because otherwise they will not receive their books. So we do want the children to continue to get their books. So thank you. Thank you. Great things. Big things. Well, I'm excited about All the right. big anniversary. Thank you. Let's see. Now, okay, and let's see. I've got Jen here already, and so I need to get your crew over here after I talk to Clark, right? Yeah. All right, coming. okay, if you get them over here. All right, so on Saturday, October the 7th, there is something to do from early morning <laughs> to late at night. <laughs> and so we're going to start out talking with Clark Oakley about the 5K and fun run for the Down Syndrome Awareness. Now, good morning there. Good morning. So did you like it better when I called you Clark Oakley or Art Clark? I've been Clark a lot worse. Okay. <laughs> so you'll take either. Yeah. Hey, that's that's very diplomatic. <laughs> okay, well, tell us all about well, it. Well, I really wanted to segue in after I heard your, you going over the menus. Oh, the yeah, right. Because that was a great flow yeah. talking yeah. about all Eat the it. pies and, oh. and then a 5K. And then, that's right. Uh, but anyway, this will be our third it's annual. It's called balance. Yeah. <laughs> it is balance. <laughs> Uh, this will be our third annual uh, 5K and fun run for Down Syndrome. Uh, it is called 321 um, Run for Down Syndrome Awareness. We have it at the grounds of DeKalb West Elementary School in Liberty. Uh, it's a great scenic run. Mm. It goes on the Preston Vickers Road. It goes back around the bluff overlooking the creek and, oh, and everything pretty. back through Liberty. So. That's a great event. Uh, we've averaged around 200 runners wow. each year, so it's, That's it's a good become turnout. a large event. And as you talk about tourism and people coming from other areas, we've had people from Nashville, Murfreesboro, Springfield, you know, come to run in this wow. thing. So it's so it's really been great. Um, also, the community just really supports it. Uh, we have over 50 sponsors. Uh, each year so that's good both businesses and individuals and also each year we have a what we call the face of the race uh, our first year we had Grant Brown uh, of Liberty which a lot of people know our uh, second year we had uh, Jay Salvis of Smith County 
And then uh, this year we have Sawyer Cole, a five-year-old in Smith County oh. with Down syndrome, who is also battling leukemia. Oh. Uh, so the purpose of the purpose of the run is actually to raise awareness for one. Uh, but also just doing with uh, my family and our friends that have children that, uh, dealing with Down syndrome, we just don't have all the resources in our rural counties. Mm -hmm. You know, they have to go to Cookville for, mm -hmm. for different things. They have to go to Murfreesboro, Nashville. So uh, it helps us to be able to give back uh, to provide some of those resources locally. Uh, since we've started, we've been able to give back over $10,000. Oh, wow. Uh, so. It's really been blessed. Yeah. And uh, but uh, anyway, I'd like to invite anybody that does want to run or walk uh, to come out October the seventh. The race will begin at eight o'clock uh, at one hundred and one Bulldog Lane, right <laughs> off the highway in Liberty. <laughs> Just look and, for the uh, West School. That's exactly right. Yeah. And you can register online uh, <clears throat> at three two one run for ds dot org. Um, you can register online. If we get that registration by September the 15th, you'll be guaranteed a t-shirt. Uh, so please come out and support that event. Uh, even if you don't want to run, you just want to come out and support it. We, we invite everyone. So if somebody just would like to make a donation, they what can, would they need to do? They can do that as well on that website or they can contact my, myself. And that's 321-RUN-4, that's the number 4, DS.org, so for our listening audience. Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you so what a much. Great event. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. So we'll go eat that pie at Kilgore's and then get out there. <laughs> Run it off. Okay. <laughs> Run it off. <laughs> Thanks, oh, Clark. Thank y'all for having me. <laughs> oh, well, you know, it's exciting. Also day. on the right. seventh. So also on the seventh. Yeah. So that's your morning. <laughs> uh, that's your morning. We got planned out. Now right. this is just sort of midday. We've got the federal mogul. And well, let's see. I've got uh, and Stephen. Where? Is your, yeah. Well, I think I've got Stephen here before you, Shannon. Right before you. So. Uh, uh, we'll see. Stephen, you run around this way. It doesn't matter. We really do have a full house there. today. We People do. everywhere. And, and then you're right after, yeah. And then, uh, so anyway, yeah, it is a full house. But back to so the I'm, Federal Mogul Car, Truck, and Motorcycle Show. That's right. And you brought a gang. Did you bring the the, your, the whole staff for well, Federal Mogul? I love so, this. So here's, here's the backstory. This, this wonderful event is Saturday, October 7th. And really, the people who I brought are the ones who are doing the event. I just came because I'm like, oh, we should be on the chamber <laughs> chat. And I they're, like, the they're like, what? And I'm like, oh, I'll come with you. So and she's so shy. <laughs> you don't know she's yeah. so super shy. Yeah. So, it's, it, was yeah. hard, it was hard for me to step up like that. <laughs> it was not hard for me to step up. But, but uh, so Federal Mogul. Of course, everyone uh, in town knows it as the factory just out uh, heading Cookville Highway uh, was Ferrodo. Lots of folks call it Ferrodo. To this day. To this day. Yeah. Even the people who work there call it Ferrodo. <laughs> but uh, years ago and up until we were trying to figure out, probably within the last six or seven years, Federal Mogul always had a car show. And uh, mostly it was uh, to promote the the vehicles that Federal Mogul provides the brake pads for. I mean, that's the way it started, um, is to be able to uh, highlight where the product goes that all, all the folks, we, uh, we make millions of uh, brake pads a year, about four million, and we provide all of the brake pads for the all the lightweight vehicle Fords. So F-150, 250, 350, 450, and 550. All of those brake pads that roll off the manufacturing lines in the United States, those brake pads get made here in Smithville. You said it like an auctioneer so, there for me. I know. 450, 450. Do I hear 650? Uh. No, I don't think that exists. I mean, I'm sure it does, but not here in Smithville. So, uh, so the activities committee at Federal Mogul said we need to bring this event back. It uh, it highlights Federal Mogul, but also uh, automotive industry is a huge part of our economy, and it's uh, what a lot of folks love. Yeah, a lot of folks love cars, and so uh, we. Are going to bring this back. It's going to be on the square Saturday, October seventh, and Todd is going to start us off with the hey, e Todd. with the actual hey. particulars of the event. <laughs> the real and, workers uh, of it, huh? And, yeah, the real workers, the <laughs> event, and uh, the different categories. All right. So uh, registration forms uh, those can be picked up 
from the mayor's office down at City Hall, Mapco, O'Reilly Auto Parts, uh, DeKalb Tire. Uh, there is a registration fee of uh, $25. Um, registration is that morning uh, between 9.30 and 10.30, um, followed by judging around 1 p.m. and awards will be given at two to three. Um, and what are some of the categories? Some of the categories are uh, for cars and trucks, oldest car, newest car, best of show Ford, and best of show uh, Chevy. Uh, as far as the motorcycles go, uh, there's first, second, and third place for best of show for the motorcycles. And we have some beautiful in all those categories in this county, you oh know, my and gosh. surrounding counties. Absolutely. So I think y'all are going to have a fantastic show. So what do you, who do they need to call if they need more information or what else you got? They well, so we have all sorts of events that are uh, taking place, activities for, for families and everything else. So Tiffany's going to talk a little bit about what we have for the kids. Hey, Tiffany. Hey, how are you? <laughs> Good. So for the kids, we are going to be having a cardboard box car race. Um, oh. For that, it's going to be ages two to nine. Um, there will be... Um, for the children, make sure that uh, they already have their box car made up and decorated. We will be judging on appearance and speed. Um, for the children, we'll also be uh, showing the movie Cars at one o'clock. Wow, that's cute. Um, I forgot to tell you the time for the cardboard box race. That'll be at 12 p.m. Um, and then... And for people who would like to participate, are there particular rules? Um, we have not set any rules. Just as no, no, I rules. like it. Cardboard. It rolls. Cardboard. <laughs> if it rolls. <laughs> cardboard wheels. Be very creative. Helmet. I love so it. <laughs> Good idea. There'll be three different age groups we'll be doing. It will be, is it two to three, four to six, and then seven to nine. So it's got to have wheels on this cardboard box, right? Or if you I would win. <laughs> I'm just thinking, though, if you put two holes in the car and pull it up and you just take off running. So you're yeah. going to do a Fred Flintstone. Yeah. yeah. It worked for free. It's exactly car. how yeah. we're going to be It can be any way you want, yeah. right? Just, okay. Just use your imagination on that. <laughs> and then, okay, the movie, of course, was Cars. So that will be showing at 1. And then we'll be having face painting throughout the day. And then the balloon dude, Justin Reed, will be there from 1 until 3. Oh, Wonderful. wow. So it's not only fun for the dads. That's it's right. It's going to be fun for the kids. Bring, right. bring what the else family. we got? What else we got? <laughs> what? Mary, Mary, Mary we're shooting over. Mary Knowles is, this is going to oh, talk. Mary. Hey, Mary. Hey. All right, now, Mary, what you got? Okay, so we welcome vendors, um, people that would like to promote their business in direct sales, um, arts and crafts. Um, there's not a tent fee. It's We're just asking for donations. All donations will go to the DeKalb County Angel Tree. Oh, nice. it's for a good cause, too. Yeah. Well, okay. you guys are the angels. Oh. No. And we'll be giving away door prizes each hour, and then there'll be concessions available as well. Oh, it's going to be a great day. Yeah, we're really, Excited. we're really looking forward to it. And there are lots of folks who, uh, you know, our the activities committee is uh, all all pulling together, making sure that all the details get done. But any, we're we're also encouraging any downtown businesses to uh, run a kind of car theme as maybe specials for uh, that day, October seventh. Uh, make sure that their doors are open in um, from from nine thirty until three o'clock so that uh, folks who are enjoying the downtown might be able to also stop in and um, maybe have their their own vehicles maybe sponsor their own car that they that they're connected to family or themselves or motorcycle we have lots of folks who just uh, enjoy a pleasure ride and lots of motorcycles and neat cars in our community so we're really hoping that um, what what is of our community is just what we're celebrating for the day oh well well, that sounds like That's so right. much fun. If anybody needs to get more info, what do they need to do? Um, they can um, they can call myself, Mary Knowles, at 615-785-5990 or Tiffany Robinson at 615-464-8433. Ah, well, it's going to be a great day. Thank you all for thank all the you. effort. Thank it is going to be especially fun for all ages. Yeah. Right? Oh, thank y'all for coming. Thank you. Now, I told you, we're not through with October 7th yet. <laughs> we are not finished. And then my next guest has a guitar next to him, so I'm super excited. <laughs> uh, we always 
just like guests that have, bring bring their own instruments. This is a lot intended. more than yeah. a lot more than snakes. Well, <laughs> I mean, not that we don't love snakes. Oh, Jen actually does. Yeah, I do. And, but and guitars are better. Yeah, Stan <laughs> wouldn't be here if we brought the snake in today. Snakes and guitars. Uh, <laughs> this is my new chamber member, and he is putting on the Caney Folk Music and Arts Festival. Stephen McCord. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Good Thank morning you for being you here. It's great to be here. Oh, we are so excited about this brand new festival to our yes. county. Thank you very much. We're excited too. Um, uh, we started just with the idea of, first of all, we love this area. Uh, my partner lives on Smithville Highway and uh, he owns a little farm there. And, you know, I've been coming up here fishing for years. I'm based in Nashville, but um, he lives here and uh, we just love the area. We want, we're, we're kind of We've been in the music industry for a number of years, uh, so we just thought, we love this area, we love music, we love the art community here. Why don't we celebrate all three and put on an event and uh, invite the community? We have felt very welcomed here, and we are so excited to put this thing on. So, um, and thank you all for having us on today. So, so tell us about yeah. the particulars of it. What all is gonna it's, be happening? It's uh, gonna be Saturday the 7th. Uh -huh. So after you do the run, <laughs> yes. And you go to the Federal Mobile uh -huh. Show. Check out yeah. the cars uh -huh. and murder. Yeah. It, it, come out to our event. It's progression. It's from Liberty to Smithfield or, to the one towards or if you're coming, Or if you're coming from Cookville, you just stop at the festival first and yeah. then just make However a little tour. Yeah. That's right. That's right. All, all, right. all directions. There's room for all. <laughs> and uh, it's a very kid-friendly event. We wanted to build something that would be very family-oriented. Um, so we're going to have five inflatables. For the kids, we've got a snow cone machine, popcorn. Kids 12 and under are free. Nice. Uh, we're doing a, a very fair ticket price for families. We're doing an early bird special for $7 for an adult ticket for now until the 30th of September. And uh, $10 at the gate on the day of the show. So um, seniors are $5. I mean, we really wanted to be fair with the pricing and make it affordable for, for families to come out. Uh, another big part of the event, so we're going to have live music playing all day long, folk music. We're going to have a winner from the, the Fiddler's Jamboree, Irish oh, Shepherd yeah. and the yeah, Shepherd yeah. family. Um, we've got some national touring bands. We have a, a Cajun band coming from Lafayette, Louisiana. Oh, that's fun. Uh, Goodness. To kind of liven up the event that for us. That will be awesome. And yeah. We're super excited about that. And also during the course of the day, we're going to be doing um, a, a charity event and we're going to be raising money for uh, the DeKalb Prevention Coalition, which Shan knows all about. I do, I and do. She can speak to that probably more than I can, but uh, we wanted to partner with someone in the local community and find a way to give something back. And that's really what it's about. Mm -hmm. um, and we're super excited about this event we're going to have some autographed guitars to auction off uh -huh. we've done these before and it's amazing how many how much money can end up getting raised with something like just a, an autographed guitar so we've got oh, a we thought you were going to play it here for us steven we, oh not me i, don't oh. Know, I don't want people to come to the event oh man i thought not he was going to do it we've had people come in before and start playing Man, but the, so, it's beautiful. Did you say you. that was signed by George Strait? Yeah, we've got a George, George Strait. Strait? Oh guitar. my we goodness! We have some other superstar artists. Uh, I'm not even going to ask how you got that. Mm. I know. And, um, He's connected. He's connected. Yeah. <laughs> 25 years of doing it, you, you get to meet a few people. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. Well, good for us. That's wow. lucky for us. We're excited. That's going to go yeah. pretty high, I would say. Yeah. And we're going to have an auctioneer there, uh, actually, you know, just auctioning off the items right there on that's the stage. That's always fun. And so that's going to be exciting. really exciting. And where is the event? It's going to be at, on the Smithville Highway in Cherry Hill, the Cherry Hill community at the Cherry Hill Farm. Yeah, close to the interstate. Well, yeah. close to the interstate, 16639 Smithville Highway. And uh, it's uh, right off the 273 exit. You'll have signs there, right, Stephen? Yeah, we have signs <laughs> everywhere. You cannot miss it. Look for this fish. That Actually, <laughs> this is the most adorable uh, artwork. I love it. That's the logo. It's yes, a, it's the a logo. Trout. Is that not the greatest thing? It's a and trout that is I got art really all one of those. within the I, that, I love fish. that more than you know. Uh, I love it. Very much. Because it really, uh, it, it depicts who we are here in DeKalb County also. That we love the outdoors. Uh, Caney Fork is a huge draw for yes. us. Not just, yes. not just tourists, but who it's a place that we love. 
love. Uh, so many people now have kayaks and enjoy the fishing and the boating and, and everything else of our own community. And also music is of DeKalb County roots. It sure. just It's just part of it. So this is going to be a wonderful <laughs> event. One other point, we're going to have a lot of outdoor vendors. You, that was a good point you brought up. Uh, we're going to have the kayak companies there, fishing and boating vendors. Um, some oh, artists great. and craft artisans there. So yeah. it's really a, a, a celebration of outdoors, art, and music. So awesome. please come out. Oh, it sounds like it's going to be a perfect day. Now, did I, I did not disappoint on October 7th, right? I know. Uh, we it's, a great a, day. it's going to be a good day. We're and going to need to rest on the 8th. And the thing is, you don't have to leave anything out. It's it's spaced out to where you can do all three of those Which is events. not always the case. It's so not that is the case. <laughs> Usually I'm here saying, oh, I'm so sorry, you're going to have to pick and choose. Not, <laughs> not that today. day. Now, That's if we right. weren't clear on all we have to do with this particular event, you can go to caneyfest.com and check it out, and I feel sure it will be much more eloquent than what we just said. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I've also seen a presence on Facebook, too. So I know uh, the Cab Coalition is uh, promoting the the event, and um, there's there's good information out there. We hope, hope for the best. It's a great event. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you Stephen. Thank you. Okay, now I have lost Shannon since I threw her out a second ago. Shannon has left the building. Yeah, what she is, is going back. Back. She's coming. And then Darcy, you and Jessica. Is Jessica here? Here she here. comes. Here she okay, comes. Okay, so Darcy, you come on over here. All right, well, you know, this is not only the president of the DeKalb County High School Basketball Boosters. She's also on the chamber board. I love this woman. She's awesome. And uh, Shannon Atkins here to talk a little bit about some fundraisers and different things. I sure am. All right. If you love basketball, love to play or watch, we are hosting the first annual Tiger Fall Brawl. Oh. It is a three-on-three -three competition boys and girls, female males. We have five divisions. The first division is fourth and fifth grade. The second division is the middle school years, the sixth, seventh, and eighth. And then we have uh, the third division is ninth and 10th grade high school. And then 11th and 12th grade is the fourth division. And then we have an open division. If you're five and you want to play with the adults, you're more than welcome to. Uh, <laughs> so that sounds like the weekend warrior edition. It sure is. My <laughs> husband will be standing by. <laughs> I'm sure. We probably will be calling him for sure. <laughs> No, I Hopefully just, it will be I'm just fun. joking. <laughs> just stretch before you go do it. Yes. <laughs> definitely stretch, drink lots of water, because it is an all-day affair. And so we're going to have barbecue there. We're going to have roasted corn. We're going to have all kinds of concessions. We're going to have cornhole toss. We're going to have oh, music and games. Fun. We're going to try and make it a fun event for everybody, any age group. Um, there are gifts. There's a three-on-three, -three, uh, excuse me, a three-point competition where if there's uh -huh. hourly winners and then there's a grand prize winner and there's a free throw competition on the side as well which uh, hourly winners and grand prize winners and if you win the whole division of course there's a, a medal and a t-shirt a champion t-shirt and other opportunities to win prizes there as well so um, you can find us though at Facebook it is the DCHS basketball booster Facebook page um, we also are going through tourney machine it's an online site that you can go in and you can register and you can um, download all your, all your information there, create your team. Uh, four players, you kind of have want to have a sub in case someone gets hurt or tired. <laughs> um, and so all that can be found online at that tourneymachine.com as well. Now this is a fundraiser, so is there a fee to participate? There is. That was my next segment. Uh, there are, it's $30 a player. They get a t-shirt to take home with them. Um, we do have some corporate sponsors that have come alongside us, and we still have others that are going to sign up. But we have one title sponsor who's kind of helped us kind of get this started and off and running, and that's Liberty State Bank. So we'd like to thank them. And we have some other smaller corporate sponsors, uh, Southern Landscape Supply, Johnson Cabinetry, um, KFC and um, architectural cabinetry. So we've had a lot of partners come alongside and say, hey, we want to help you get this up and running. And hopefully from here on out, this will be a um, success for future years that they'll just kind of carry this tradition on. Now, could you remind us what date that is? It is October 7th. October. It oh! <laughs> I, I said, I already said, hey, we can go there and then we can come back. Because you're, you know, there's there's different times so we can make it work and the divisions go at different times yeah. throughout the day. So This is one busy weekend, that October <laughs> well, 7th. And I, and I have to say, one of the reasons is because there's fall break. Yeah. And so we, we kind of lose two prime weekends yes. in October because, because when school's out and a lot of folks are 
or on that one week vacation, you don't want to really, you don't want to have too many folks, too, you know, out, yeah, out of town. Basket football games are going on. It's yep. a big time. Yep. So, oh. yes, but we're very excited about it. We're going to have lots of fun. And, um, and again, if they can contact me. If you just want to come and watch, you can just pay five dollars and come and come and go all day long. That'd be fun. Matter. Yeah. Oh, fun. great event! Yeah. Sounds like so much and if fun. If any of you ladies want to be on my team, we can create a Calgary <laughs> team. And you have an over she's, sixty group. <laughs> she's obviously never seen me play. Yeah, that's what I'm okay. saying. I'll just put you right on the basket. <laughs> I know this will come as a big surprise to you, but I was the cheerleader, not the player. <laughs> Are hey, you can be a cheerleader for five dollars. For five dollars, I'll cheer every team. I, I like to cheer. And, and then the one thing I would say is, all the players and cheerleaders are working. They're going to be. Oh, I love it! I love it. So they're going to be. They're working. doing their it's part. Their part yep. of the fundraiser. Yep. So we're real excited about that. that. Sounds Wonderful. so fun. Yes. What yes. a great event! Thank you. Thank you. Thank y'all for having us. Thank you for being it. here. It's so wonderful to be with you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> You're awesome. Oh, now, now we're going to talk about an event that is not on October the 7th. Well, the fourth annual Paisley's Foundation Craft and Home Show is coming up in Alexandria, and Darcy Cribs is here. Good morning, Darcy. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Well, I tell you, this has been successful over the last few years. I'm so glad you're continuing it. Well, tell us about it. Um, some of you have heard of Paisley's Foundation. Um, we formed uh, five years ago. Um, it's named after Paisley Cheyenne, my granddaughter, who um, was stillborn May 3rd, 2013. Mm -hmm. And what, what they do, my son and daughter-in-law formed this, and what they do is benefit families um, financially and through support, of course, um, to families who are dealing with stillbirth or yeah. infant loss. Um, you don't know how... Um, how many people are affected by that until yes. you deal with it yourself. And it's, um, they have helped over 40 families oh. since they formed in 2014, the end of 2013, mm. 2014. And as sad as that is, what a blessing at the same time. Yeah, to, uh, take, their, have, to take their own tragedy mm -hmm. and turn, and it, it, into turn it into something. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, And they just, you know, they try to support them uh, in so many ways, but of course the financial part is is huge because it's not something you plan for. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so um, anyway, that that's how it formed. That's where Paisley's Foundation came from, and we do um, about three fundraisers a year. We try not to beg for money too much, but um, funds get low, and so this the craft show is really one of our largest, believe it or not, uh, benefits. People come, they support. We have so much support, I, I just can't even tell you. And so the foundation uh, started this craft show and we have um, everything, you name it. If it's homemade from uh, sourdough bread, door reeds, mailbox, sewing, embroidery, um, of course, all the reclaimed wood and signs and vinyl, and we have everything. It's a good day to go Christmas shopping. It is oh, a, that's a good idea. Everybody there, ha they start with fall and move all the way to Christmas. Um, last year, we had a lady that had um, red, white, and blue for New Year's, and she had New Year's wreaths with the next year on them. And so there's a, there's something there for everybody. We have face painting. Um, we've had. Um, a company contact us about having bounce houses for kids just to give the kids something to do while mom's shopping. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lady who does custom sewing for children and she just emailed me this week and now she does adult sewing. She's getting into that. So um, we just have everybody. Um, we usually have about 300 people, sometimes more. We grow every year. We have about 38 booths. The, uh, it's held at the fairgrounds in Alexandria. And we have the women's building, which is the Kenneth Allen Center, where uh, if you go to the fair, you see all the mm -hmm. yeah. all the farm stuff, all the flowers and everything. We're in that building full, and we have taken over the business building in the back. Wow. Um, where you go get all your free stuff during the fair. Um, so that building is full as well. And last year, we actually had two booths in between the buildings. So... Um, 
we grow a little every year and and this year being on chamber tech gets helps us get the word out to community because there's so many artisans here there's so many handcraft people mm -hmm. in Amazing. the county so talented mm -hmm. and and we just we have a covered pavilion that has electricity and a concrete floor uh, we have the entire fairgrounds so we just welcome anybody that if you want to come out and and do wool or paint or carve wood. So demonstrations are Anything. welcome. Yeah. Oh, we welcome everybody. It's twenty-five dollars for a booth. Uh huh. Come oh, if you're outside. It's twenty-five dollars for a tent. Wow. Um, that's a very bargain. affordable. Yeah. Yes. And and the reason we keep it affordable is because it it just it's a local charity. You know, we want local people and mm -hmm. local support. Mm -hmm. um, we have door prizes. Mm -hmm. So you can sign up, uh, buy a ticket at the door, and we have giveaways throughout, and that's usually huge money too for us. And, uh, and you know, we've heard this throughout the show about the door prizes. These are businesses donating, mm -hmm. right. and that just shows These are cr our how much. Donate. Oh yeah. my goodness, yeah. it just shows that yeah. community spirit, doesn't yeah. it? Our, everybody that gets a craft, 80 to 90% of them all say, what, what do you want, what can I give you? Because they know why they're there. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them have been touched by it in some way or another. Yeah, you know, they know have, somebody yeah. or, mm -hmm. um, so it's just really important to our vendors as well, which makes it that much more special. So, so what do they need to call? Who do they, oh, that's okay. So <laughs> for more information, who, what do you? They can visit paisleysfoundation.org okay. for all the information and read Jessica and Ty's story. Yes. It, you know, that that's pretty special. They can email me at paisleysfoundation at gmail.com. They can call me 615-464-5139. Uh, <laughs> yeah. How myself often do I call often. myself? I don't yeah. call myself very often. <laughs> Um, and, you know, I'll share with them anything they need to know. Well, free. I love this, you know. It's free admission, free parking. Oh, that's oh, wonderful. Free admission, free you know, free well, well, our family's experienced this, what, three times yes. now, and, and it is devastating. Mm -hmm. and, and not only you're dealing with loss, but when you're dealing with, you know, the financial issues, too, and that, that you, your family has come together to help families mm -hmm. in that area, you know, it's just, just to relieve a little. Plan for. Oh, goodness, no. You're you just, planning for just the opposite. And, and just to have somebody, and, and having been through it, you know. Yeah just to have somebody to talk to that's yeah. been through it yeah. mm -hmm. they can kind of help you process mm -hmm. um, you know I'm, I'm just Mimi yeah but I had a lot to process as well yes the and have talked with other grandparents it's you know it's just, it too. is it's mm -hmm. such a huge loss and and they are just it's not just a Cab County they help oh they they've sent money uh, they've helped a family in North Carolina you know, uh, all counties all over, I mean, like I said, over 40 families, and we're just a little local, you know, just a little local charity, but word gets out for good things, so. Well, we're so grateful you're doing this, and yep. thank you, and people go out and support this, and it'll be oh, a lot of fun, please. too. Yes, and it's free admission, so come do some Christmas yeah. shopping. <laughs> Thanks, Darcy. <laughs> thank thank you. you. Well, Gail, let's get you over here. I don't think Kenny's here this morning. He was so afraid I was going to mispronounce his name. And I you did not you disappoint. scared him off. <laughs> But we, we probably should say just a couple words about what's going on. And I did put a little yeah. info here, Jen. Yeah. I know you love that. I do. I, I, I think that our state park is one of those treasures that it's just up the road. If you are looking for something fun to do on any given Saturday, Sunday, during the week, they have a great staff and, and all sorts of activities all the time. Great place to camp, uh, all kinds of neat events. But uh, the couple that he has listed that are coming up, uh, the trail building on September 30th is having, uh, they're, they're actually constructing a building and, and they're really working on it already, but we're helping to build um, a, a new half mile corridor of the Hillside Story Brook Trail. So tools and on the job training will be furnished. Honestly, it's not that hard to work on the job training. Let's Here, if you can do take, yard work, you can do this. Take this rake, <laughs> go make a line. Yeah. All right, I can do that. <laughs> so that's September 30th, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, and and basically you're you're just getting out knowing that you're doing good work uh, to help the state park maintain and continue to improve. And then the 12th annual History Hayride, one of 
my favorite events of the year. It's also October 14th. We just talked about the Paisley Foundation. This happens all, all day long and into the evening. There are 150 pre-reserved seats and they fill up fast. They do. Um, so you can call, um, <clears throat> It doesn't have the number. I think you can go online. Go online mm -hmm. to the Friends of Edgar Evans State Park, um, and if you just if you just uh, looked up Edgar Evans State Park um, on online, you'd be able to link to where the History Hayride tickets are being sold. They're fifteen dollars per person. There's no price difference between uh, pre-registering or getting them at the door because if you show up at the door, you probably won't get one. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> they sell um, out before the but day. But it is yes. a fantastic event that actually it's the best combination. You get to be outdoors, get a cup of hot cocoa, get a hayride, enjoy the beautiful state park, and you get to hear stories that are actually like the live history where people are in costume talking in first person about what I, who I am, uh, as a school teacher at the turn of the century, they all have uh, folks who are actually connected to Civil War uh, veterans. That family, you know, the the line the line hasn't been broken. That uh, that descendants of the folks who are depicting the these special characters in our DeKalb County history actually tell the story first person, and it's just a wonderful event. Uh, so. Call early or you won't get a seat. Yep. <laughs> and the Friends yeah. of Egg Revan State Park is pleased to announce a new partnership with the Smithville ba Brownie Scout Troop 3094 for projects that will benefit the park. Isn't so, that sweet? Yeah. Yes. And uh, just as a little side note, both Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts, uh, Cub Scouts, all sorts of uh, uh, promotions going on right now. We're, we're This is the great time of year to, to be looking for a troop or a Cub Scout den to join and so if you have any questions about how to get connected with scouting just oh. let me know and my <laughs> number is 615-464-0645 uh, we'd love to have some more boy scouts uh, boys in the boy scout troop uh, and also please if you are um, retiring your flag look for a collection bin we have them at Liberty State Banks we have them at the second second floor of the courthouse building uh, just little plastic tubs and boxes that we have around make sure that you're not throwing your old uh, flag out you might have been uh, flying it all summer long and you're looking at it it's thinking pretty sad now yeah time to yeah. time to uh, put one. that uh, please respect your flag mm -hmm. just drop it off in one of those convenient boxes or baskets and uh, the scouts will make sure that it is retired properly oh thanks, I love that Jen. I love it well, from the Appalachian Center for Craft, Gail Gentry says good morning. morning. Good morning, Gail. Good morning. Well, I know this is an exciting time of the year for you. It is. It's <laughs> so, always busy. At the so, Gail, you have to start with your lovely jewelry. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Thank Holy, you. she always I has the most this interesting. Wood Turners conference. So. Oh my goodness! Yeah. 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 Well, thank you. Oh, we enjoyed uh, the Upper Cumberland Chamber Executives Association. Spent the day at the Craft Center. We got a special tour. We had lunch there. We had our meeting there. It was fabulous, Gail. Wonderful. Yeah, we're great hosts. Well, excellent. Thank you. We have several events coming up. Uh -huh. um, currently, we're enrolling for both one day and a little bit lengthier weekend. Uh, mm. Sorry fall and spring workshops, yes. so one day or, or lengthier, uh, tntep.edu slash craft center. We're also enrolling for summer 2018 workshops. Mm. So if you've always wanted to learn about clay, fibers, glass, metal, or wood, you can enroll now um, and get a 20% discount off of those workshops. Oh, that's Ooh. nice. Uh, yes, <laughs> that's what we're hoping. So if you register before April 1st, to get that discount, 20%. We also have our annual Bacchanal in October, but it's the 22nd. Yay! So Hey. Go on the 14th and then come to yeah. Bacchanal in Cookville. <laughs> it's at Spanky's Restaurant in Cookville, and it's a fundraiser for students who are earning their Bachelor of Fine Arts at Tennessee Tech. Mm. But it's a live auction. We have artwork donated from artists from all over the country. Lots of fun. Ted McWilliams from McWilliams Realty is the auctioneer. So normally he's used to auctioning off property and cows. <laughs> so he'll get into that rhythm occasionally when he's auctioning art, and that's really interesting. But they have also wine and beer tastings, wine from Horizon Wine and Spirits, and beer from Budweiser, and incredible, delectable, delicious, heavy hors d'oeuvres 
from JJ at Spanky's Restaurant. So oh. it's a lot of fun, lots of fellowship, and an opportunity to get some artwork from artists from all over the country. And have mm. students at the same time. Exactly. We give six to eight scholarships every year to art students who are deserving, who go through a selection process, and it really helps them because they can purchase materials and focus on their craft rather than worrying about their finances. Yes. So, and again, that's October 22nd. If you want information or reservations, it's tntech.edu slash Bacchanal, and that's B-A-C-C-H-A-N-A-L. So register for those. And then coming up in November, it's not too early to start thinking about oh, holidays. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we have our annual holiday <laughs> festival on the 17th, 18th, and 19th. And the 17th is a special preview day mm. where you can come and get 25% off of all of the items in the gallery. I'm um, writing down that date. Yeah. <laughs> November 17th, um, and you can register online for dinner at the Blue Water Grill on the Hill. Oh, nice. They are preparing 12-ounce prime rib, Ooh. Ooh. Uh, also coconut encrusted grouper, <coughs> Ooh, again, oh, or their coconut. special herb roasted chicken. You get sides, um, you drink everything with that, just pre-register. We're doing seatings at 6 and 7.30, and then shop for that 25% off special preview sale from 6 to 9 on November 17th, mm, and then on November 18th and 19th, it's still 20% off in the gallery, so you still don't miss out okay. if you can't come on Friday. And we have all kinds of hands-on workshops that you can participate in. You can learn how to do a blacksmith X S hook. Can't say that really fast. Ooh, okay. <laughs> you can do fibers, make scarves, make books, um, make Christmas cutout ornaments out of clay, and mm. we'll fire them and send them back to you. We have glass blowing, so make your own glass ornaments or oh, glass fusing. That's you can make always what I want to do. Mm. Yep, come out. It only takes a half hour to blow your. I want to do the blacksmithing. <laughs> And yeah. I want to stand way back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're making an S. Did you see an S? An S. Oh. oh. What is that? So and it gets rid of your stress. Yes. Way away from her. Way <laughs> far away. Or That's for sure wood. <laughs> oh, we definitely need to do jewelry. that. You can jewelry. You can also do wooden ornaments. So all kinds of things. So you can not only shop for things, but if you'd like to do something special and hand make a Christmas <clears throat> present for someone, come out and do that too. We ask for pre-registration, but you can also show up that day. All kinds of good things. And we have all kinds of free activities for kids too. So Wonderful. come out, spend the day with your family. And again, that's November 17th, 18th. Mm -hmm. The 19th, and details of that are at tntech.edu slash craft center, or you can get on our Facebook page or just call us at 615-597-6801. Yep. Thank you. Right. Thank you so much. Oh, Shannon, we're down like three minutes. This is I exciting. love that. Okay. <laughs> we got Thomas. this. Let's hit the sink Here we go. You. Okay. I, I'm going to tell you two very important things. Yes. Yeah. Um, the very first one is the fact that you know with the Caney Folk Festival yeah. that we were speaking of, the Cab Prevention Coalition, uh, the proceeds are going to support that, but that is because of the health adventure that we started. So those funds are going to help to uh, perpetuate the health adventure into 2018. We're excited about mm -hmm. this. So excited about that. It's been a fantastic uh I mean, the community has really come out. It, it has it has blossomed and it has done well because of community support and the community wanting to get healthy. The second thing I want to say is um, not to brag, but I am now the recipient of the world's best intern. Oh, oh. yes, oh. and she's beautiful. Yes, Mallory Sullivan is in the house, and she is my Here, Mallory, new wave at everybody. marketing yeah. intern. Yes, Mallory. Come, come, come. I'm sorry. Now we're going to embarrass Mallory. Yeah. <laughs> I have the best intern. She has the weirdest boss. It works. <laughs> what can we say? I think you like weird, right? Yeah. <laughs> she's, she's, I hope she does. She's that's tolerated. That's all it? she's got. So Mallory is a student at Belmont. She's a marketing major, and uh, for whatever reason, she has chosen me Aww. to mentor her. So to her mother, Good luck. my Good luck, apologies. <laughs> but I love her dearly, yeah. and she's already fantastic. And you know, her first day on the job, she got to meet uh, Titans quarterback Marcus Mariota. Oh. Oh, don't and go on don't. tour with him. So, yeah, I mean, it's a hard right. life. But somebody's <laughs> got to do it. So, we've had a great time. And I just want to say thank you to Mallory. And when you see her out and about, she is representing St. Thomas DeKalb, along with all of St. Thomas Health, and doing a fabulous job. And uh, I'm trying not to work her too hard, but oh well. All those good work experiences. Yeah. Oh, yeah. she's yeah. she's yeah. fabulous yeah. already. You just so. have a short period of time anyway. Just <laughs> what, what a sleep. That's well, it. That's uh, it. Uh, <laughs> giving me the eyes. Yes. The chamber wants to 
promote your news or special events, as you can see this morning, <laughs> please call our office at 615-597-4163 or email me at swilliams at dekalbcountychamber.org. We'll help you spread the word. Thank you to WJLE Radio and to DTC TV for sponsoring the Chamber Chat program. I'm so grateful to all my co-hosts this morning. Yay. Jen, we're glad to have you Yay. back this Good morning. Good to be back. It was we wonderful. We had a great guest this morning, and we appreciate our listening and viewing audiences. And next month, I'll be at the Tourism Conference, so Shan, you and Kathy Hendrickson, the Coco host, that's it. Will Coco. Be spot will be doing the show next month, and so we hope you'll tune in next month. Same chat time, same, same chat, chat channel. channel. <laughs> bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs>